We start from scratch. We have to define our future relationship in what our partners are able to accept. There's going to be a lot of acceptance for what UK wants to do in terms of exchanging goods and services, but it's not going to be through membership. It's not automatic access. It's going to be more a WTO type of agreement than really a European agreement. Some of our business will be directly impacted. That means we will no longer be licensed. We will no longer be able to provide insurance for EU policyholders. So that means we're going to set up a subsidiary Lloyds market um, in a country that is likely to remain in the EU, which means not the UK. For a lot of companies who are using the UK as a production and export base, uh, the deal is to maintain this base competitive or seeing it disappear. We believe that we have to defend our own interest that may defend the British interest. We believe that being a member of the EU and being out is not the same and cannot be uh, as good being out. It's all really going to mean that in the future the passporting business that we will have to do might have to migrate to the European markets. That could impact on about a thousand of our 5,000 employees, but the rest is largely institutional business in the largest financial centre of the globe, so that's going to remain. She did leave the door slightly open uh, when she said negotiating a free trade agreement with the EU. Possibly something allowing some of the financial services sector to then do business in the EU, continuing a Brexit, might occur as part of that, but we're continuing as though it's not going to happen. All of a sudden you have tariff, it's against competitiveness. But at the same time, the currency is something, you know, the, the, the support for industry or for exporters is another thing. So you, you cannot just judge on one element. You have to look at the total package and evaluate your competitiveness within the new frame. This is a very complex deal. It's unprecedented. 27 member states have to approve it. Then it has to be approved by both houses of parliament. I mean, this is, this is pretty, pretty heavy stuff and very difficult to get done in two years.